Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lesia and today I'm going to be doing my January haul part 1. So let's get into it! In the beginning of January I was away for a whole week on a road trip through Eastern Europe and I had the best of luck with bookshops and bookstores and book hunting so I would love to share all the goodies with you. The first book that I'm going to start with is Dan Brown's Digital Fortress and I haven't read anything by Dan Brown so far and I have picked Dan Brown because my boyfriend wants to read a couple of his books and this is one of the books that was on sale and it sounds kind of cool. This is a story of a woman, the main heroine is trying to catch whoever is behind breaking into the National Security Agency and a whole lot depends on her. There's lots of mystery and lots of suspense so I hope this is going to be a very fun read indeed. The second book that I've got was Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I've wanted to read the classic for quite a while and this is a really pretty much a new copy, although I got it in a second-hand bookstore. And another thing that I enjoy particularly, that um, there are drawings and little illustrations in the book and I'm looking forward to reading it very, very much because Elizabeth Bennet, actually I'm re-watching the series from the 90s right now and I always loved it, so yay. The third book that I got was Montmorency by Eleanor Updale and this is quite a short book which is a bit alarming to me because the plot sounds very interesting and curious indeed and I wouldn't mind if it was a bit longer. It's a story of a thief who gets uh, a bit torn up and he breaks some bones while he's on a robbery and the doctor who saves him gives him a chance of a second life but Montmorency ends up being a two-faced kind of guy. He's both a thief and both a gentleman in a high society now and and he's going to have to decide who he really is. And this story sounds very very interesting because it combines lies and thievery and the gentlemanly kind of sort of world. It's in the Victorian London and it really sounds very very appealing but it's also quite short so I suppose I really hope it lives up to its potential. One of the most amazing purchases that I've made is another book that I haven't heard anything of before. It's called The Shoemaker's Wife. Adriana Trigiani is the author of the book and it's absolutely looking splendid as well as the cover art, as well as the book itself. It's, it's very, very beautiful. But what I love about it, it has a major flaw, although it's also a very good thing about it as well. The pages are kind of roughed up, like somebody was cutting them not with the, the right equipment. And this is something that I really like about the looks of the book. About the book itself, it's a historical romance fiction novel about a couple, the shoemaker and his wife, obviously, and their lifelong adventure and their moving into America when it was a very, very difficult period in the lives of men. And I only know that it's a bestseller. It is Ray very very highly and I'm looking forward to reading more about it and I hope it will live up to its beautiful color and its beautiful annotation. The fifth book that I'm going to show you in this haul is called The Restaurant of Love Regained by Ito Ogawa and this is also not a very very long book but it appeals to me very much by the description of it and it's talking about the main heroine who once upon a time comes back home from work and uh, suddenly she finds out that her boyfriend or more like ex-boyfriend has smuggled out every piece of furniture in her apartment and left her for good. This causes our heroine to spiral down and she has to face her family to go back home basically and since she is a woman in her 30s or so she hasn't talked to them in quite a while and she has a heck of a time mending everything but once she has settled back home she has this idea of starting up a beautiful restaurant that will be dedicated to the love in cuisine and inspire love in everybody she meets so Ito Ogawa is actually as far as I know um, a cooking expert. She also has her own website of Japanese cuisine and this book sounds exquisite. I suppose it's going to have lots of tasty mouth-watering food descriptions as well as a moral and maybe some hint of a love story. At least I hope it will be. And I suppose it can be um, categorized into the contemporary section but I'm definitely looking forward to reading this one because it sounds very very nice, very very uplifting. 
And the last book for this part of my haul is Time for Bed by David Bedil. Uh, this book is kind of a old release, maybe in the 2000s or in the 90s even. It's the first novel by this author and I don't know if there are any other uh, novels, but it's about a guy who has difficulty sleeping at night because he's pining over his uh, brother's wife. And it's all nice and well, and he has a partner and he's living in it, but suddenly he remembers that his brother's wife has a sister. <laughs> so I am sure this is going to be a very, very amusing kind of read. I'm sure it's going to be filled with laughs. And I really think that Time for Bed is a good title for a book, especially for people who read before bedtime. So I'm looking forward to finding out whether these books are any good. So that's it, that's only part one of my huge book haul. And I would love for you guys to tell me whether you've heard of any of these books before or if you have read any of them. If you have, please let me know down below in the comments. And if you haven't, let me know what you're reading this month. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye!